What's up, fellas? I just got back from Menards. I got a little bit of hardware here today, and we're gonna build another micro waste oil burner. We've seen this device here and how it operates. It does have some nice characteristics, but the fouling was huge. It's just a bad design because it's just salvaged parts, which you'll often have them. So there's just too much ridges in here, too much of a face, and it works. But I only ran it for about an hour and a half and it already needed cleaned out. So not sure how useful that would be to anyone. So today, I thought we'd give this bad boy a try. This is gonna be the star of the show anyway. I also went ahead and went out and picked up an actual elbow just in case. I wanted to give this a try, and I was gonna put an afterburner type setup on this thing. I also wanted to put this uh, afterburner shroud on also. So we've got a couple of quick little uh, experiments we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing the uh, nozzle position acquisition testing again, which is where I just hold that nozzle and kind of move it back and forth until we find the sweet spot. So none of these videos will contain footage of the device with the nozzle actually connected. It's just gonna be in my hand on the fly, and we're gonna try and look at the footage and see where it operates the best. I have a feeling this bore is just gonna to be too smooth. A little bit bigger than that as well, so. Not quite a micro burner anymore, but very small nonetheless. Here's the device will run hot enough that it won't uh, carbon up too much. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna give this another try. I've tapered the end just slightly. It took a lot of work to pull this off and get it somewhat uniform. Not much of a taper at all, but some nonetheless. I also had to cut the top off 
and it's just too much elbow there. I left some of the burr, hoping it will act as a flame catch through the eddy currents it induces. 